It's the holiday weekend that signals the beginning of the summer months in the United States. Thousands of people crowded beaches unperturbed by the lurking virus that will kill over 100,000 of their fellow citizens by Tuesday. Personally, I'm not sure I'm worried about that, but for those who are worried about it, I suggest they stay home. I, I like to get out and I'm not worried about it, and those that are should stay home. Today it's just my husband and I, so it's a small group for just us, but yeah, it seems like everybody is um, thankful to finally be able to get out and do more stuff. It's like, okay, do you be afraid of it or do you go on about living daily life? I mean, you got to hand sanitize and keep clean, but you can't stop living. And while President Donald Trump has been eager to promote the idea of the United States returning to normal, Case numbers continue to rise by over 19,000 in the last 24 hours, while the daily deaths continue to exceed 500. Right now, countries in Europe, countries in North America, many other countries around the world in Southeast Asia have to continue to uh, put in place the, 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 the public health and social measures, the surveillance measures, the public health measures, the testing measures, and a comprehensive strategy to ensure that we continue on a downward trajectory and that we don't uh, have an immediate second peak. The White House on Monday brought forward by two days restrictions on travel from Brazil, the number two hotspot after the United States, as the daily death toll in the South American nation began to surpass that of the U.S., a move seen as a blow to right-wing President Jair Bolsonaro, who's downplayed the seriousness of the virus while the dead are buried in mass graves. I don't want people coming in here and affecting our people. I don't want people over there sick either. We're helping Brazil with ventilators. We're sending them ventilators, okay? They, they need ventilators. I'm sending them ventilators. We have so many thousands of them. We're sending them. We're sending a lot of people. No, Brazil is having some trouble. No question about it. This weekend, a stark front page from the New York Times. 1,000 names reflecting just 1% of the total number of dead since the virus hit the United States. The complication now for a country like the United States where the devastation from this virus has been so acute both from a public health perspective and an economic one is how to ensure a continued flattening of the curve, particularly now as the days grow warmer and the pleasures associated with that increasingly appearing to outweigh the restrictions that have become so key to lowering the number of infections and saving lives in this country. Sherman Bryceby's SABC News, New York.